All right, so today we're gonna do an unboxing of a musical instrument. What did I choose? Let's see. A violin. And did you ever do something and uh, you sort of regret it? Well, I don't know how to play the violin. I've never played an instrument before. Maybe the rubber band banjo. <laughs> and um, yeah, and so the problem is, is that I paid a hundred and nine dollars for it and it had ten dollars off and then with tax it was 108.52 and i'm like why did i do this um i'm not even aware of how to even tune a violin or put a bridge in or uh play a song <laughs> but i just wanted a violin and uh this is going to be pretty pretty dodgy learning how to play this instrument without any formal uh like lessons all right well let's see what it looks like so since I know nothing about violins, uh, why did I choose a four slash four full size one? Because I thought that was the right thing to do. Um, apparently it's adult size. <laughs> they come in different sizes. All right. So already it looks like it's packed very well. All right. So a lot of you instrument snobs out there are going to say, oh, why did you buy a cheap Chinese violin? Well, because um, I don't want to pay a million for a Stradivarius <laughs> or even a Stradivarius copy at like thousands of dollars. Because if I can't figure out how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in about maybe one week, I will get bored of this instrument and probably hang it on the wall for decoration. All right, so already the case looks really nice. It's by East Star. Now, I chose this one. And strangely, um, I'll show you on the box, if I could even find it right now. It mentioned the name Donner. So um, I don't know if Donner, here we go. I don't know if Donner makes this instrument. And E-Star is just, I don't know, another another name for it. All right, so I know Donner makes guitars. There we go, there's the side. Quite nice looking, I have to say. All right, so we have different compartments on it as well. It's a sturdy, sturdy case. I'm actually quite, uh, you know, pleased with it. Ah, and it has uh, straps on the back and a loop over here to carry. All right, so let's see what this looks like. The moment I've been waiting for. Now, the uh, violin, I've always wanted to play this ever since I was born. And uh, again, the only thing I could probably play is the rubber band banjo and maybe one little kid's tune on a piano. So let's check this out. And I hope it's not damaged. <laughs> And hang in there one second. I'm going to turn this around. And already this is uh, quite nice. It's a velvet interior lined. I can see the bow is on the top part. Um, before we unveil the violin, let's see. We got this compartment. What's in there? And we have, I think it's pronounced rosin or rosin. And that's for the bow, to give the uh, bow some kind of grip to the strings on the violin, according to what I read. And before that, we're going to check out the bow. Having never owned a violin before, I don't know if this is considered a good bow or a bad bow. And uh, actually, it's not damaged. That's a good thing. And I think they call this area the frog. <laughs> I find that interesting. So we have like this little wooden thing with a little mother of pearl looking thing over here that's probably not mother of pearl and probably plastic and I'm trying to get a focus here if my camera will ever focus come on camera focus there we go and so I guess this is the thing that tightens it let's see what kind of hair it is and it's definitely I don't know if it's Mongolian horse hair like they usually say it is but uh I guess a newbie like me will never know, but that's actually quite pretty. Look at that. All right, so let's check out the violin now, the moment we've been waiting for. Now, it was supposed to come with a tuner and some extra strings. Um, let's see if it's in this compartment. Okay, it wasn't in this compartment, and it comes with this uh, really nifty piece that goes over here to protect your vi uh, violin from being scratched, and I also chose the matte finish, the matte antique finish. I don't like those shiny ones because they look like kids' toys, and they usually uh, made uh, really, you know what I mean? It's too shiny, and it looks a little too uh, toyish. All right, 
So before I show you the violin, see, you don't get to see it yet. Um, okay, so this is a neck guard. Let's check it out. Like a neck padding type of thing. I think you call it like a neck brace. I don't know. I don't know violins. But there we go. So it's foam. Um, already we have a little yucky part on it. Um, looks a little smashed. So I'm not digging that too much, but what could you do? Um, trying to get a focus on this. And there you go. And I'll figure out how to install that in a minute. Then you get a packet of silica gel, <laughs> which I'm going to throw out right now. There we go. Okay, so you get, it was supposed to be two sets of strings, but uh, it appears that you only get one. So E-Star violin string right here. And let's see, size 4-4. Four, four. And yeah, you're only getting one set, I believe, when it did advertise two. So I'm a little, you know, not happy with that already. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Not truth in advertisement, that's for sure. So we have a, like a, a digital tuner, but apparently you can use an app from your phone to actually uh, tune your uh, instruments, including guitars. All right. The moment I've been waiting for, and it's the violin. So let's check this one out. And this is actually quite beautiful. I'm actually quite uh, happy with it. Now, it's supposed to come with two bridges. And I'm going to investigate that in a moment. But here's the finish. And it actually, it's lightweight. And it appears to be made well. There's the side. Here's the back. Here's the other side. And we have under here, I believe, the bridge. And there's only one when there was supposed to be two. So I will have to contact the uh, seller and tell them they only sent me one. I'm not happy about that. I'm actually annoyed. The other bridge would have been in here, um, apparently to some other unboxings I've seen. So I will contact them as soon as possible. I want my second bridge that I paid for. So I'm quite angry about that already. All right, so there's the bridge. It's a little rough, you know, nothing uh, to write home about. There we go. Um, it has, let's see if it has the spots in the top to put the strings in and let's see. And it appears to have little, little spots in the top. I believe I can't even see it right now. Let's try to get a zoom in on this and it does. Okay. So it has little slab, you know, little uh, cuts in there for the string. A little rough around the edges, but uh, what do you expect for a hundred and you know nine, a hundred and ten dollars? All right, so let's check out this. Now the bridge is not installed. Um, not too happy about that because as a beginner, I have absolutely no clue whatsoever how to install that bridge. All right, so here's the I guess the neck, the neck piece, the tail. We have these uh, little knobs over here, um, and the string, and this is why I liked it. Out of all the other models, the uh, fretboard, which I think is Indian rosewood. Now, I don't know if it's just painted to look like rosewood. Let's uh, get in there and check it out. Try to focus. I don't know if it's painted. So uh, I'll have to do a little bit more investigation on that. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I liked uh, these little uh, guides on it. It looks like a painted Mother of Pearl. I don't think it is Mother of Pearl. Maybe plastic or filler of some sort. There we go. And, uh, again, I'm going to have to set up these strings. I'm going to have to install the bridge myself. I can't afford a music store to do that. And uh, when I come back, I'll show you it all, uh, I guess, if I figure out how to do it. Um, the bridge installed and the strings all tightened and I'll just uh, put the rosin on and apparently you have to rub the rosin um, on quite a bit the first time you get your violin and set up the bow and uh, I'll show you it all done and maybe I'll just <laughs> rub the bow across it and we'll try to see what kind of uh, sounds it makes. All right, so I just contacted E-Star um, requesting the replacement to the pieces that they didn't send me. Now um, I looked all over in this box and i do not see the extra bridge anywhere so um 
And in the description on the top, it said it comes with one set of strings. And if you further go in the description below, they have a comparison chart between their other models of violins. And uh, it does say two sets of strings. So I asked them to, uh, you know, get back to me as soon as possible. Um, send me the missing bridge and uh, the other strings. So uh, I will update you guys and let you know if they made good on it. And uh, whether or not you should, uh, you know, believe in them as a customer. Um, service, you know, that they're very good and they answer you back if you have a problem. All right, so it has a little tag. Certificate, uh, certificate of quality. There we go. And all right, so I'm going to try to get the bridge on. Try to get the strings uh, tuned. So far, I really like the uh, finish on it. Let's uh, try to get you to see that. It has a, I guess it's maple. I think it might be made, made out of maple. Um, again, this is supposed to be like some kind of rosewood of some sort. I don't think it is. I think it's painted. But what do you want for $110? You know what I mean? But I am disappointed about the bridge and the strings. But otherwise, um, I feel very happy about this purchase. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful violin. I'll get back to you in a minute. Once I try to figure this thing out here, how to set it up. All right, so proof that I was supposed to get two sets of strings. All right, so this is the Eva 3, right? Okay, so let's uh, show you. Now in here it says one set of strings, right? But it says two bridges here. Two bridges and I got one and you were my witness. All right, I'm supposed to get two of those. And But if you scroll down to here... In the listing, where the heck is it? They have like a comparison between different models. All right, so apparently I got the EVA 3. All right, but it's highlighted as EVA 2. But all right, so it says two. Two strings. Oh, no, two bridges. Even the EVA 2 is supposed to get two bridges. All right, strings. Two pack for the EVA 2 and two pack for the EVA 3. So voila, there you go. All right, uh, let me show you the uh, violin and uh all set up all right so come on you gotta face it this is a beautiful violin for all you violin snobs out there i know i'm gonna get comments <laughs> he's gonna tell me it's a piece of trash but um i like it i think it's uh quite beautiful so i put it um all together and let me tell you something i was in tears um because i never ever ever put this type of thing together before let alone even handle a violin and uh you had to put the bridge in and apparently it's supposed to go across the f holes um right in the center of that little you know line and my god i watched like 80 youtube videos with experts showing you how to do this and they moved too fast and i had to ki uh, keep hitting the pause button and rewatching it 80 times until i gave up with the youtube videos got a pair of tweezers got a flashlight fed it through a little uh peg um on the inside with a flashlight and i actually did it now is it tuned have no clue i will check that out later i rosin the bow for like a good 10 minutes and uh Oh, by the way, why am I wearing hooker gloves? Yeah, I get a lot of nasty comments. <laughs> Very insultive people out there. Um, well, I'm a burn survivor. I was charbroiled. Um, I spent about a good 30 days in the burn unit and I almost died. So I don't like the way my skin looks on my hands. So that's why I wear hooker gloves. And no, they're not hooker gloves. I'm not a hooker. Okay, so <laughs> back to the violin. Okay, so don't know if it's even tuned. Let's check it out. I don't know. It sounds pretty good to me. And I'm going to try to play it for you guys. Now, I uh, attached the uh, back piece. Don't know if I did it upside down or not. I guess uh, only time will tell. I'm going to attempt my first violin. Um, what do you even call it? It's not going to be playing. That's for damn sure. All right, listen. If you're wearing headphones, I assure you right now, take them off. Lower your volume. You're about to uh, end up uh, probably wanting to vomit. All right, I don't know if I tighten this enough, but apparently in the center, it's supposed to be um, closer to the, uh, I guess, what part do you call this? I don't know, the bow. Um, and then it's supposed to like flare out on the ends, something like that. <laughs> and I think you're supposed to hold it like this. I don't know. Already I'm getting arthritis. And uh, let's see. Now, I don't know how to press the buttons, you know, on the frets um, or the strings. Is that what you call it? All right, I'm resting my chin. Guys, seriously, this is going to probably frighten you. All right, let's try it. First time trying it.
God help me. Definitely, you know what? It's like the scene from Titanic where the ship goes down and there's a guy playing like the fiddle or the violin. Um, apparently, I suck. Okay? I totally suck. This is a beautiful, beautiful violin. Uh, we'll see if E-Star makes good on um, their ad um, saying, you know, that they were going to give two strings and two bridges. We'll have to check into that. This is what it looks like. So far, I'm liking it. If I can end up playing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star... And the next, uh, maybe, uh, five years, I'll be very, very happy. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Please give me some motivational comments in the comments below. I, sh I sure, you know, need it. And by the way, these are not hooker gloves. So long.